Well, I ran out of room on my uh, card there, and my camera card, so I had to stop and and do some adjusting there. So, anyway, as I was saying, we're going to have um, it really dark on the corners, so if you get dark in the corners, that's a good thing. So, I'm going to continue on around with my extender first. this other corner. Okay. And then we want to put paint on. And I'm going to start in this corner. And pull it out and then across to meet where the other paint was in the other corner. Now this way. Take my mop and blend. Now if you find your mop is getting too much paint in it, which I believe that mine is, you can take a dry paper towel and wipe it. Or you can take a baby wipe and clean it out with that and that will clean it and it won't have any uh, wetness in it. And you can continue using it. So we've got uh, two fourths of this canvas covered. So let's uh, finish with this corner. And our extender out to meet where we started. Okay. And I need to get a little more paint on my palette. So I've gone through it all. Alright, I'm going to start in this corner again. You kind of want to start where you want it to be the darkest because that's where the biggest deposit of paint is on your brush. And work it out all the way around. I'm going to wipe my mop off again because it is getting full of paint. So I'm going to swipe a while and wipe and swipe and wipe. <laughs> Flip slap and wipe. Okay, so what we've got is sort of a rough frame around our design. Got a rough frame around our design. Have a, a light area here. We want to keep that light area. We don't want to get any paint in that area. So if you uh, find that you've gone a little too close, take your dry paper towel, wipe around, clear that area, make sure that you have a wiped mop and then come in and soften those edges just barely just a little back and forth motion you should have plenty of extender on your um, surface to be able to do that you get too much paint in your mop you will continue to wipe it out Try not to go far back into your corners because you really just need to worry a piece of paper towel. Just really need to worry right now about that uh, blending line between your light area and your design. And uh, any, of, any of your brush strokes and things like this in the corners won't matter because we're going to go back in with and um, put another layer on that later. So uh, let that dry. Don't want to put any glazing medium on yet because you don't really want to lock in your uh, design um, lines there just in case some of them are not quite right. So Dry that really well. Uh, it's 
it's going to take a while to air dry so you might want to if you're in a hurry you might want to uh, heat dry it with a gun and but make sure that it is thoroughly dry no shiny spots where the glaze or where the extender was before we start again and now is a good time also since you're doing this to do your edges and uh, I'm going to do those in the same way put a little bit of extender on and brush on your uh, your raw umber alright so uh, I'll join you back again on video for the next step